In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use sound effects in Pygame. If you're working on any kind of game and you want to learn how to use sound effects when you're doing a specific thing in your game, then this is the right video for you. Here I've created a Pygame script that just has a simple window with two buttons on it. The buttons are the like button and the dislike button. And what is special about this is if you click either of these buttons, a sound effect is going to be played. So if we click the like button, then we will get a sound effect. And if we click the dislike button, we'll also get a sound effect. Aww. So if you want to learn how to use these sound effects and how to create them in Pygame, then make sure to stick around to the end of the video. With that being said, let's get straight into the video and let's learn how you can use sound effects in Pygame. All right, so I just want to demonstrate how you can do this in your own projects. So I've actually changed the code a little bit so that instead of having the sound effects being played on these two if conditions, we are actually just going to print like or print dislike. So for the first if condition, if we are pressing the like button, and this is just what the logic does, it checks if we are pressing the like button. If you don't know what this check for input method does in the button class, then make sure to watch my previous video. I showed you how to create this button and I showed you how you can use it in your own script. So yeah, so anyways, we just have these two if statements. We're just checking if we're pressing the like button or the dislike button. So if we run the code right now, since I've manipulated it a little bit, what will happen is when we click either of these buttons, let's just wait for this load first. Okay, when we click this button, instead of uh, having some kind of sound effect, what's gonna happen is it's going to say like. And if we click the other button here, instead of having another sound effect, it's going to say dislike. Now, what if we wanted to actually put in these sound effects? This is what I'm going to be showing you now. So firstly, let's just close this. And now we need to create two things in order to get the sounds working. The first thing is the like sound effect. So the like sound effect will be a pygame.mixer.sound object. So pygame.mixer.sound with a capital S. And we are, we are going to have another object. If I just duplicate this, it will be the dislike sound effect. And inside of these parentheses in our sound class that we are referring to, we have to put the path of the audio file that we want to use. So we just put that in as a string. And in my case, it's going to be like.mp3 very simple. And for my dislike, we'll do the same thing except with dislike.mp3. And if we go into the file explorer here, you'll see here I have dislike.mp3 and here I have like.mp3. If you were to put these in a separate folder, for example, if you made an assets folder, then you'd have to refer to that. So you would have to say assets slash like or assets slash dislike. But since I've put them in the exact same folder as this main.py script, I don't have to do any of that. So now we've created our two sound objects and we can actually play them. So instead of print like, you can say like sound effect dot play. And instead of print dislike, you can say dislike sound effect dot play. And believe it or not, we're actually done. This is all we have to do. If you want to do this in your own script, all you have to do is you have to create a sound object referencing to the MP3 or W4A or whatever file that you want to have as your sound, which is what we're doing here, and then call it whenever you want. So play it here or play it here when we're clicking either of the two buttons. Now, if you go ahead and run this again, we are going to get, hold on, if I run this again, sorry, we're going to get the same output as I showed you in the beginning of the video. So if we click the like button, And if we click the dislike button. Aww. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And just to be clear, you can change these two sound effects to whatever you want. So if you had your own sound effect, then you would just put it in here. So with all of that said, that's probably going to be where I'm going to end the video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you found this video helpful for your Pygame projects, please consider liking. It really helps. And if you didn't, then you can dislike and tell me what I did wrong so that I can improve. If you really like the video and you want to see more Pygame, Python, programming, and tech videos in the future, make sure to subscribe with notifications on so that you never miss a new video. I hope to see you in the next video, but until then, this has been Lartech signing out. Have a good day.